this is uh, coming together rather nicely. It's cleared up. I did put a, an extra coat of uh, gloss gel medium over the top to uh, sandwich the whole thing. Now I'm going to just gently lift this up and put a piece of white paper underneath so I can see it just a little bit better. And I think you can see it's a fairly nice transfer. My next step is to uh, get it onto a, uh, another piece of artwork. So what I want to do is um, put a piece of paper over top of this and I'm going to start marking the parameters of this piece and one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to make some registration marks and one of the things I did notice with this technique and you can see it right here is that there is a little bit of distortion and I can live with that it's not going to be the end of the world um, I'm just going to make some reference points and where I want to try and put some color on the piece and you know these are like I said these are reference points these are not going to be the be all and end all um, so I'm just going to quickly rough in some of these areas and try and figure out where some of these uh, crossovers are and that's going to be it for this um, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to take this over to a, a piece of, of artwork and I think I might use this uh, this piece of, of paper that I did yesterday and use this as a, a base and I'm going to cut it down and we'll see where it goes from here. I'll be back in a few minutes after I get things set up. Okay, so here's the setup. Um, this piece is actually in reverse. If you'll remember, I took the paper off the back side. So in reality, it's going to go in this direction and it's going to look like that. So what I did was I took and, and traced the image onto a piece of uh, paper and this happens to be a, just a light tissue paper but I, I did it from the reverse side. I then covered it in chalk and flipped it over and then drew over top of all the lines that I had, had drawn and you can just barely see an outline of all the marks that I made that have come up in the chalk. Now I'm going to go ahead and start working on the background. I am not going to be careful. This is going to be a very, very casual approach to this. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up, get that painting portion done, and uh, let it dry, and then I'll be back. So I put the painting in place, and you can see it's just a very, very casual painting. But watch what happens when I put the transfer over top of it. All of a sudden, it comes together in a very nice way. So I'm very pleased with this and I think the next step that I need to do is I need to get this uh, attached. So I'm going to take my scraper, remember this little tool, and I'm going to start pulling this up. And this technique with the um, with the transfer, the, uh, the, the surface of the transfers tend to be very sticky for a very very long time and therefore they're very difficult to um, to deal with on occasion. I just really um, I really like them. I really enjoy them, but they're they're a little tricky. So there's the transfer, and notice that I've taken it off the glass and I have inverted it. So now we need to get this thing attached. So I'm going to position it um, about where I want it which I think is going to be right about there. I'm very pleased with how this is turning out. I really am. Um, I'm going to take my, my piece of um, wax paper and I'm going to fold this back over. And the reason I do the wax paper is so it doesn't stick to itself because my goodness it does like to stick to itself. It really does. So um, I'm going to take a brush and I, I have a mixture of um, soft gel medium and uh, gloss liquid medium in here and it's just a, a, a nice thick uh, kind of slurry and I'm going to quickly spread this out and I'm not going to be too careful about all of this 
no reason to get fussy over it. And then I'm going to peel this half of the transfer back. Now I'm going to take my fingers, or, or you can actually take a brush, and put this into position. I'm going to remove the wax paper. And you can see how nicely that went into place. Now I'm going to take this half and raise it up. See how it wants to stick already? And I'm going to use some more of this medium. And like I said, I like to use gloss medium because I find that the matte mediums tend to want to get uh, milky. So I make sure that I have a really nice layer on here and again I'm going to press this down into place. Now the whole secret of this now is to let it dry. So I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then I'll be back and we'll take a look and see what we've got going on here. So that's it up to this point. Give me, uh, give me an hour and I'll be back. So here's the piece after an hour and you can see that I've trimmed it up a little bit and, and uh, gotten rid of a lot of the excess. The upper surface is dry. The, the acrylic between the transfer and the paper is not dry yet. This will get much more clear. So I'm going to give this a couple more hours and we'll take a look at it then. And hopefully it'll be cleared up enough that I can post this video. Well this is the final piece and it um, still needs to dry a little bit more but you can see the background colors coming through and I think it makes a nice rather old-fashioned look to this and uh, it's more like a hand tinted photograph. I think this is one of many possibilities for these transfers so I think this is a lot of fun. I had fun doing it. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.